Okay, this is a quick guide for setting up a CoinCatch account and using the trading tools for USDT and futures, at least the most important tools that I use and some new features they have added. Uh, CoinCatch has no KYC, no VPN is necessary to access their platform. I'll have chapters down below so you can skip ahead to whatever section you like. So I already have an account created here. Uh, obviously you will need to sign up and create your own account. So I worked out a deal with CoinCatch where you guys can get 100% to 300% cash back a bonus depending on how much you deposit as well as get free access to my charts and discord there are three tiers and it's a limited number of slots this is the events page I will put a link up to it now if you want to get more information and check it out uh, this applies to new coin catch accounts or if you previously created a coin catch account but have yet to make a deposit you are also eligible to get this bonus as well as access to my charts if you go directly to coin catch my referral code is LCKO or you can use my referral link I will put a link up to this now Again, all of these links will be in my YouTube channel description as well as pinned as a first comment in description of this video. But again, it's limited number of slots, so take advantage of this while you can. When you sign up, you can choose a mobile or email. I prefer just using my email address, setting a password. And then once you sign up and verify your account, uh, once you're in CoinCatch, you'll click on Assets. So for this tutorial, we will be trading USDT and Futures. If you roll over derivatives, you'll see USDT and Futures. Uh, you will need to have USDT in your Futures account to trade with. If you currently do not have any funds in your account, you will need to deposit those funds. As you can see currently under my Futures account, I have zero funds in my Futures account. So if you do not have any funds in your account, you will need to go to Deposit. Uh, obviously, you will click on USDT, choose the correct chain name or network address, put in your deposit address, and then deposit those funds. Remember, if you want to withdraw funds, you'll need to have those funds in your spot account if you want to withdraw to another exchange. To transfer to your futures account, as simple as clicking on transfer. And you can, again, as I said, you can go from USDT and futures to spot or vice versa. So we're going to go from spot to USDT and futures. Uh, currently, I'm under USDT, so I'm going to put in $10,000, click Confirm. Now you can see I have $10,000 in my futures account to trade with. If we click on Assets, you can see my futures account and now shows $10,000. Just click on Derivatives, USDT and Futures, and now we're ready to trade. Okay, so now we are in the trading platform. So before I get into discussing some of these tools and what these features are, Remember, you can be very profitable trading uh, on the way up and the way down, but you need to have patience and you need to practice risk management. That means waiting for the right time to enter a trade and setting a stop loss to protect yourself. Now, first and foremost, before I get into the tools, now I am under live trading, so I'm trading with real money. You can see I have $10,000 in my futures account to trade with. If you want to practice and learn how to trade or just learn the tools, remember you can click on demo trading. Uh, this will show uh, U, uh, SUSDT, so it's fake money. This is just so you can learn how to use the tools, get comfortable with trading so you're not losing real money. Then when you're comfortable, then you can start actually trading with real funds. So as you can see, it says SUSDT. Again, everything's the same. The only difference is, is you can only trade uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Notice there's an S before each one. So that is the only difference. If you do run out of funds, let's say you lost your money, you can you can actually click on a demo trading asset deposit and they will deposit more funds into your demo account to trade with. So I would suggest doing that first just to get comfortable with trading. That it never hurts to know what you're doing before you get started. And then once you're comfortable uh, with trading, then you can just click under, go up to uh, futures trading, click on USDT and futures. And now you are back to live trading. As you can see, it says $10,000 USDT. So before I get into the actual trading tools and showing you the features, I would like to point out, you'll notice this is trading view. So if you're already familiar with trading view, the tools are exactly the same. Uh, you can go trend line, arrows, fib channels, brush tool, text tool. So it's identical to trading view. Uh, you can up right up here, just like in trading view, you can change your time frame. Currently I'm on the 15 minute time frame and you can choose uh, whichever time frame you want going all the way up to the one month. And you can also adjust these panels. So if you, the bottom right of each panel, you can actually scale these to whatever size you want. And you can move the panels around as well. So if you'll notice this, this little tab here, you could actually move, if you wanted to move your um, trading tools on the left and move it over to the right side, you can do that, but you will need to scale and adjust everything and 
and bring it up to where you want it. But I'm, I prefer it over here on the left, so I'm going to leave as is. Okay, so first and foremost, before you decide to start trading, uh, you need to decide if you want to trade with cross or isolated and adjust your leverage. By the way, soon I will have a new video out uh, with advanced charting techniques using the trading tools in CoinCatch. When that video is available, it will pop up now. So if you go over here to the left, you'll see where it says cross. So you can choose isolated or cross. Isolated means whatever money you put into your trade, that is the most you can lose. If you choose cross, you're using all of the money in your futures account as collateral. However, cross does give you some advantages where you can add more margin to your trade, as well as other advantages maybe we'll cover later on. But you should never get liquidated because that is the point of using a stop loss. For now, we're going to use cross. The next thing you want to do is decide how much leverage you want to use. Now keep this in mind, the more margin, if you put, the margin is the amount of money you put into your trade. So if you use more margin with lower leverage, that's going to put your liquidation point further away. If you use lower margin, as in less money into your trade and set your uh, leverage higher, that's going to put your liquidation point closer. So again, I would practice that under uh, the de your demo account just to get an idea. But for this tutorial, we're going to keep it at 10x under cross. So a new feature CoinCatch added is being able to adjust your stop loss and take profit as soon as you enter a trade. So let's say that price starts dropping or price starts pushing up and you want to enter a trade right away. Well, what you can do is go over to the left, click on market, uh, put in the amount you want to trade. So for this, we're just going to put in $200. Price is dropping, so I'm going to go sell short. Now I will, I will discuss take profit stop loss in a bit. But for now, if I just click on sell short, It'll give you all the information. Uh, you can click on do not remind me again if you'd like. Hit confirm. Now I'm in a short. So what you can do is you can just drag, since we're in a short, when you drag it up, that will set your stop loss. You can set do not remind again. And then when you drag down, that will be your take profit. So now you can adjust your stop loss and your take profit and you can pretty much do that on the fly. This is great when price is moving really quick and you want to jump into a trade. Down below, you can see your position, how much you've made, how much you've lost, and then if you want to flash close, just click on flash close and you can close that trade. We're gonna go ahead and close this trade now and hit confirm. Uh, as you can see, when I entered my trade, uh, these arrows pop up showing where you entered your short and where you took profit. If you want to disable these, uh, if you click on the little pen tool here, you can actually turn on and off uh, different settings like your trigger order, position, uh, take profit, trailing stop loss. So if you click on order history, that will remove those arrows. So again, if you want to turn that on or off, you can just go to the pen tool and then click it your preference, but that's how you access those tools to turn those on and off. So another feature that CoinCatch added, which is a really great feature, while you're still under market, uh, let's say you want to enter a trade and we're going to do $200. So if you click on take profit and stop loss, you can enter, well obviously you would put in your take profit. The best way to do this is just do a horizontal line. So let's say if we're going to go long, we want to take profit at let's say 100,500. So take profit would be 100,500. And we want our stop loss at, let's say 98,300. So we'll put 98,300. And then you could sell uh, long or you could buy long and that would enter your trade. However, you click on advanced. Under advanced, you can actually see how much you can make or lose on this trade. Obviously, if you're going short, you'd want to click on sell short. If you're, if you're going long, you click on buy long. You see where it says take profit ROE? You can put that under PL and you can put the stop loss under PL. And now when you put in that price, so for instance, uh, trigger price, which would be, I see the trigger price for a take profit will be 100,500. And our stop loss, we have at around 98,300. And now you can see how much you would make or lose. So if we hit our take profit, we would make $26. And if we hit our stop loss to get stopped out, we would lose $17. So this is a great way to actually know how much you could make or lose. And remember, it works the same way under sell short or buy long, depending on which way you're trading. You would hit confirm. 
and then you can set to do not remind you again or just go ahead and hit confirm and now when you hit buy long you can see you hit confirm and now we're in our trade and you can see we have our stop loss and we have our take profit now one thing about this you cannot move uh, these are the lines I put on here you cannot move these currently if you want to actually uh, change or set your take profit and your stop loss you can actually go down under position you can see currently I'm in profit and now I'm not in profit but all the information is down here but if you want you can actually go in and you can adjust your uh, actual take profit and stop loss so you could go right down here click on this pen tool you see right here and then here you can manually type it in uh, again you can put do not remind you again if you like click you understand so you can actually put in a new uh, take profit and stop loss so for this we're going to put in 100 uh, let's see one hundred and two thousand dollars And for our, uh, let's see, our stop loss, we're going to put that down around $96,000. And then we're going to hit confirm and confirm. And now you see we have take profit, close long, take profit, close. Uh, this is a stop loss for close long and this is take profit. So what you can do, you can actually drag these around now. And you could, if you want, go ahead and remove these. So you're still in your position, but now you actually have a stop loss, I'm sorry, a take profit you can adjust to where you want it. And then you can actually adjust and move your stop loss, which is a great feature. And then again, if you want to flash close, just come down to flash close and you can close that trade. Okay, so I want to discuss uh, two other features. Now limit over here on the left, if you click on limit, now when you do a limit order, uh, so basically you could do a limit short, so if price pushes up and hits a certain point, it would open a short. If you do a limit long, if price drops down to a certain point, it would open your long. Uh, trigger order, I'll cover that in just a minute. Uh, you have more options with that. But just to show you how limit order works, so currently I'm under limit right now. So for price, well, we want our, we're going to do a trigger, uh, uh, sorry, limit short. So we want our trigger for the limit to be 100 and let's say 101,200. So we'll put 101,200. So that means when price hits this point, it will trigger our short. Uh, for this trade, we're going to put in $200. And then you can click under take profit stop loss. So the best thing, since we're going to do a short uh, for our stop loss, we're just gonna put a line up here. I like to make it red just because that shows us my stop loss. So that would be 101,800. So uh, our stop loss would be 101,800. And our take profit, well, since we're gonna open a short at this point, our take profit would be around 97,700. So 97,700. And remember, again, you can actually click on advance if you wanna see how much you would make or lose. But we're going to go ahead and click on sell short and hit confirm. And now you can see uh, we have a trigger, it says open short. So if price comes up and, and makes contact with, let me move these lines out of the way. So if price comes up and hits this point at 101,200, that will trigger a short. And obviously your stop loss, if you go under, you can see down here under open orders, you can see our order is open short. It will open that short at when price hits 101,200. And you can see under take profit stop loss, uh, if price pushes up to 101,800, that will stop you out. That protects you because if price continues to go up, you will lose money. If price comes down, you will continue to make money. And you can see our take profit is is at, uh, let's see, 97,700. You can actually click on the pen tool and you can adjust this. So if you want to change it, you want to set your trigger price uh, for your take profit, you want to lower that down to 95. Just click that, you can change your trigger price as well, then hit confirm, and it will adjust it. So this order is ready, so if price hits that point, it will trigger, and your short will open. If you want to cancel, just come over here and click cancel, or you can actually just click the, the um, X, and that'll close your trade. Okay, so now I want to discuss trigger order. Now trigger order is just like limit order, except with limit order, you can only do a limit short, from resistance or a limit long from support. 
With trigger order, you can actually open a long when you get above a resistance level or open a short when you drop below a support level. So over on the left, it says, it says post only. I'm going to click on trigger. So for this, our trigger price, we're going to do a trigger long. So we're going to move this around. So I want to have my trigger long start at 102,500. So we'll put this trigger at 102,000. 500 and execute price uh, we're going to do a market uh, now the thing about limit if price moves really fast it's possible that you're, you're um, it, it might not trigger uh, with market it's guaranteed to trigger it just might be a little higher or lower that's why I like using market so cost value for this we're just going to put in $200 like our previous trades so what this means is since we're doing a trigger long when price hits 102,500 it's going to trigger a long but now we need to set a stop loss so if we click on take profit stop loss we're going to take this red line and move it down so since since we're going to hit 102,500 it's going to open a long well we want to have a stop loss below to protect us in case price starts dropping so our take profit, well, you know, however high you think it might go. So let's set our take profit at $107,000. All right, we'll put a little line up here. We'll keep this green. Say $107,000. That'll be our take profit. Remember, it'll open when it hits $102,500. Our stop loss, $101,900. So stop loss, $101,900. So when price hits this point, it'll open our long. If price continues up, we'll take profit at this point. If price comes back down, we'll get stopped out at 101,900. Now again, you can click on advanced and you can see how much you can make or lose on that trade. I'm gonna go ahead and hit buy long. And when I do that, it gives you all the information. You can click do not remind again if you like, hit confirm. And now you can see we have a trigger long set. And like I said, if price pushes up to one or 2,500, it will trigger a long. If price continues up, you're in profit. If price drops down to 101,900, well, you'll get stopped out. You can do this for shorts, again, so if it drops below a certain point, then it would trigger your short, but obviously you would set your stop loss above, so everything works in reverse. And as just like in limit order, guys, so it's under open orders, it says, it says open long, uh, and again, just like in limit, if you wanted to, you could change your trigger price. Our trigger price is 102,500. You could change that to 102,600 if you like. Just to confirm, that will adjust it. And same thing uh, like we did with a limit order. You can adjust your take profit and stop loss. Just hit I understand. And just like before, you know, you can put in whatever um, amount you want. And you can also change that to PL, and that will show how much you will make in USDT if it's your take profit and it's your stop loss. And then just hit confirm, and that will adjust your trigger. So again, just, just to uh, clarify, limit orders means if you could do a limit short from resistance, a limit long from support. A trigger means that when Whenever price hits a certain point, you can decide whether you want to go long or short and set your stop loss. If you want to close or cancel that trade, just hit cancel on the right down here where my mouse is, or you can just click right here and you can close that order. And that's pretty much it. And also guys, uh, so if you want to, you can, if you are KYC verified, you can buy um, crypto through CoinCat, but you'll be you'll need to be KYC verified. And also you can go under assets. And if you want, you can transfer your funds back to your spot account. So we can go under, so we're not in a trade. You need to make sure all your trades are closed. So we're gonna transfer for, from our USDT and futures. You can do this from your, your main account as well. And now we can just do all, and then we can transfer this. And now you can see we transferred, we have zero available in our futures account. All that money is put back into our spot account. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Remember that new uh, trading and charting technique tutorial will be up soon. That's it guys.